Alright, Bubbles, you ready to learn about the Instagram Graph API? Bubbles? What? What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a user's Instagram posts and their profile information using a single access token. By the end of this video, we will have a page that looks like this where we're getting the user's posts and information on their profile. Here, I'm targeting the programmer.me Instagram account. I've gotten back their profile information here, and below their profile information, I'm displaying their posts. And for each post, I'm getting back the like and comment count, title of the post, link to the post, the media type, and when it was posted. Here we have a bunch of images. Let's see if we can find a carousel. Here we go. Media type carousel album. And we have all the album images right there. Then at the bottom, I'm displaying out the raw response from Instagram in a text area just for reference. Below programmer.me, I'm displaying out my profile information. So you can see that I'm using the same access token to get my profile information as well as another user's information. Same thing here, my profile information and then my posts. Now before we start coding, we're going to hop over to the Instagram Graph API documentation, looking at the business discovery endpoint. It's important to note that you can only use this endpoint if the Instagram account you're targeting is a business account. The endpoint we're going to be hitting is your Instagram user ID slash business discovery. If you don't know how to get your Instagram user ID, go check out my video on getting an Instagram account ID. Here's our first example here. This is the Instagram user ID, and then you're specifying fields, business discovery. Then we do dot username, and here's where you put the username you're trying to target. Then you can specify the fields you want to get back for that user. In this example, we have the followers count and the media count, and on the end, we have the user access token. So this sample request here returns us this sample response, where you see we've requested the counts and we got them back. But what we're really interested in is getting their posts. So we're gonna build off of that first sample request and we're gonna make a nested request specifying fields on the media edge. See here now, they've added on the media field for the user blue bottle. Now the sample response looks like this. And you see here's the array of media, which is all the user's posts. And media by default is just gonna return the ID of each of the media objects. So we're gonna go one step further by getting media metrics. We can nest fields for each media right here. Now the request has the media, but you see we've added on fields we wanna get back for each media object. Comments count and the likes count. Now our sample response is getting even bigger. You see our media now contains the comments and the likes count for each of the media objects. So that's enough documentation. Let's head over to the Graph API Explorer and test this out to see if it works. I'm gonna paste my user ID right here. Then I'm gonna copy everything here from the question mark all the way to the access token and paste that right after my user ID. And the user I wanna target is programmer.me. And we're gonna hit submit. And we got our data back just like the documentation stated. Now we wanna get back more information for each of the posts. That means you have to specify more media fields right here. There we go, now I'm requesting a lot more things for each media. We're getting the caption, the counts, the timestamp, the username, the type, the owner, and the permalink, and the media URL. Now, just like we're nested down here in the media, in case there's any children on the media, which would be like a carousel album, we have to do children, and then we specify fields for the children. So for every child, we're gonna get back on the media URL, which is a link to the picture. Let's hit submit again, and now you see we have all the information for each post. Find a carousel album here so we can see the children. There we go. So this is what the children looks like. This is just each of the cards in the carousel. Now I think it's time to code up our web page. Over in my blog code repository, you can check it out on GitHub at github.com slash jstolpe. We're gonna hop into our Instagram graph API folder. Here we're gonna create a new file called git users info and posts. Open that up and we can begin. First thing we're gonna do is include our defines file. Quick look at our defines file here. For this video, we're just gonna be using the access token and the Instagram account ID. Fill these things in with your access token and your Instagram account ID. If you want more information on how this defines file was set up, go check out my Instagram Graph API playlist. Now that we have our access token and our Instagram account ID included, we're going to define our endpoint format. This is just here for reference. It's the exact same thing from the documentation, graph.facebook.com, Instagram user ID, your user ID, not the one you're targeting. Then fields business discovery dot username and then the username of the user you are targeting. Let me specify all the fields you want to get back for that user. And then here's where we're doing our media query and getting the post back for the user. And we specify all the fields we want to get back for each post. And of course, at the end, we tack on the access token. All right, now let's set up our actual endpoint. Our actual endpoint is right here, all the way up to our variable IG user ID, which we're including from our finds file. Again, that's your user ID, not the one you're targeting. Then we can create our users array. This is going to be the array of users we want to get information on. First user I'm going to target is programmer.me. I'm going to create a function. It's going to take in a username, the endpoint we're hitting, and our access token, which is coming from our defines file. Then I'm going to also get my information as well. All right, let's create our function. 
we're going to start out in this function by defining the parameters for the endpoint. This is going to be everything till the up until the access token. We're going to specify our fields. This is going to be business discovery all the way to access token, just like that. Now we have to update this so this is actually targeting the username that we want, which is being passed in right here. So we have our fields. And then, of course, we need our access token. All right, so now we have our endpoint and our parameters. We got to tie them together. So we're going to say endpoint dot equals question mark dot HTT build query on our params. And HTT build query takes the key and sets it equal to the value. So now our endpoint should look just like this, except the variables will be replaced with our actual values that we're specifying. Now we're all set up to make our curl call. Initialize our curl call, specify the endpoint we've created, set some other curl options here, and then the response. Close our curl call and return our JSON decoded response. Now we will have a nice array of the info for each of these users. All right, let's see if everything is working and dump out our users array. Hit that URL in the browser and it looks like it worked. We got our business discovery on programmer.me, all their profile information along with their media, just like it came back in the Graph API Explorer. And after programmer.me, we should see my profile too. There we go. Now we're just going to display this stuff out, make it look a little nicer with some HTML and some CSS. I'm just going to copy and paste the whole HTML block here. I'm not going to go into detail on the HTML or CSS because that's not really what this video is about. But you guys can check out the code on GitHub. So let's just look here at the info we're displaying out. We're looping over the users that we got back and we're displaying out their profile picture URL as an image, a link to their Instagram account, their media account, followers count, who they follow, their biography, and their website. Then. In a list, we're going to display out the user's media. So we're just looping over the, the media data array. First thing we do in here is we check to see if the media type is an image or a carousel album. In that case, we want to display out the image tag so you see an image. Otherwise, it's a video. So we display out the video tag with the source media URL so the user can play the video. Then we have the likes and the comments and the caption for the post, a link to the post, and here's where we check for the children. So if it's a carousel album, we have to loop over each of the children, and for each of the children, we're displaying out the image. Then at the bottom, we have our timestamp of when the post was posted, and the raw response here for each user dumped out in a text area. All right, so let's refresh our page here, and now our page looks a little better. Here we have the user's profile information, and below that, all their posts. You see the likes, the comments, the caption, the link, the media type, find a carousel one here. There's a carousel type. So you see we got all of the images in the carousel displayed out right there. And let's try to find a video. We should see a video player. Here's my account now. There's a video right there. And you see it plays. And that's how you get other users' information and posts with a single access token. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.